Welcome back to Houston Life. Houston's Ballet's first production of the season opens this Friday with a Shakespearean romantic comedy like you've never seen it before. Yeah, it is Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, choreographed by legendary choreographer John Newmeyer. And John joins us now along with Julie Kent, one of the most celebrated ballet dancers in the world. She is currently the Houston Ballet's artistic director alongside the legendary Stanton Welch. Uh, we're so glad to have you both in Houston, and thanks for making time for us today. John, you've choreographed all over the world, London, Vienna, Munich, Tokyo, Paris, Moscow, Houston. That is only scratching the surface. What is so special about this staging of A Midsummer Night's Dream at the Ballet? I think every every staging is the most important uh, because I don't believe, even though this work has been done by many companies, I don't think we redo it, we recreate it. I think creation is the most important word. And I think that this version in Houston is new. There are things that have never been in this work before. It's not just, it's not what you saw whenever you saw it here in Houston before. It's always new. Wow. That's, it, so Beautiful. it's new and fresh and we want our viewers to go really, really um, take advantage of the fact that it's in town. Julie, what's it like working with, with John, who obviously has such a beautiful vision? Well, I mean, one of the greatest honors of my career has been uh, to have the opportunity to work with John. He is a, a genius. Uh, he, is, he has a heart and a soul that is so deep and ha taught me so much as a dancer, as a person, um, and not just dancing his work, but dancing all the other uh, work that I had the privilege of doing uh, for many years. I had a very long career. So, uh, you know, he, he opens the door uh, every, uh, every m movement is filled with intention. And uh, there's almost, he's almost like a, a filmmaker in the way that he's able to help you to understand all the perspectives and uh, tension and drama and um, harmony and all the different um, aspects as they're needed. And so you, as, a, as an artist, when you're dancing his work, the lines between your life and your character's life become blurred. Mm -hmm. Wow. These, uh, it, that is so beautifully said, and I love that you two share such mutual respect and ad admiration. Julie, you were most recently the artistic director of the Washington Ballet. Yes. I believe you officially retired from dancing in 2015. Yes. Some of our viewers probably know you from Center Stage, <laughs> from the film Dancers in 1987. What's it like for you two to work together now on a project like A Midsummer Night's Dream? Welcome to Houston, by the way, Julie, because I know you just started there. But the fact that you two know each other and have this friendship and professional working relationship must make it all the more satisfying creatively. Yeah, but I, I think the, the most important thing is that dance is a living art. You, it's not like a great painting or a great book that you, you don't really change after years. For me, I change it. And, and, and to have someone with like J Julie uh, as co-director of this company, it, it, it's very important that we understand that, that we're going to go into the studio and we don't really know exactly what will happen. Because what, what happens depends on what I see, what I feel, what I feel being returned to me in terms of emotions. So um, it's, it's wonderful. Very, very, very nice. And if you've never been to the Houston Ballet, right. it really is just such a lovely, whether it's a date night. I took my nieces a while back, and they range in age. The youngest is eight. But it's such a lovely, uh, satisfying experience. How would you describe it for viewers who have never been? Or maybe it's been a minute since they've been. Because right. a lot of people during the pandemic, because we couldn't go, they got out of the habit of supporting the arts. Why is it so important that we support the arts? Oh, well, first of all, like you, you said, when you see ballet, I think it's the most direct human art, in a sense. I think the danger is people say, oh, I don't go to the ballet because I don't understand. But you should not understand. You should feel. Uh, because we all have the same instrument. The dancer uses its body. You have a body. If I hit this body, you know how that feels because you have the same body. If I balance on my point, if I jump, 
you know what that feels like, how the desire you might have to experience that. So I think the most important thing is go to the ballet, watch, let that feel the work. Don't try to understand it. Wow. You, and, and Julie, when you say how he is so creative, I can really feel not only the intensity yeah. and the intention, which is so wonderful, but you know, this is a Shakespearean tell. This is something that has been told so many times before. Never like why, this. Right. <laughs> so, so why is that significant today, being, that story being told today? It's like you're walking into a whole new world and experience that, that you've never had before. And I have read the play many times I've seen we've all have seen the film seen different balletic versions never nothing like this it is so much fantasy fun magic mystery um, it's, it's really incredible and Houston Ballet is one of the greatest ballet companies Absolutely. in the world and just I, right I, I really have to say that because uh, as I say I was here before we did it before and then I, I, I came back and the days I, I was in April I think when I did the casting I, I was amazed at the company I, I think the the piece was made originally to show an ensemble to show that there are different characters. Dancers are not all the same. They, sh they, they do class together, they all try to do the same steps, but they are all individuals. And this is what's so important, this is what's so Shakespearean, actually. And I, I'm really, really, we have two casts, uh, so you have to actually come twice. Okay. Uh, we, we, we will. We're going to tell our viewers, <laughs> no, yeah, go, go twice. No, they're, and they're the, completely different. Yeah. They're, they're, and they're wonderful. Yeah. The intensity is wonderful, you can tell. And I've always said, I'm from the sports world. Ballets, the ballet dancers are the most athletic people in the world. The most people athletic. John the world. Meyer, Julie Kent, <laughs> thanks to you both. Thank you. You're very your welcome. Time. And a reminder that John Newmeyer's A Midsummer Night's Dream runs from September 8th through September 18th at Wortham Theater Center. Tickets start at only 25 bucks. And for a link to get your tickets, we have shared a link on our website, HoustonLife.tv. Just look for that scene on Houston Life section. Okay.